this video is going to be a little bit different. What we're going to do is trim some branches from over my pond and we're going to use the can cannon which is a tennis ball launcher that I'm borrowing from my brother. We're going to use this in a very unique way. So I'm going to go over the parts here, kind of explain a little bit, and then we're going to get out in the woods and have some fun. But got a little bit of prep work. For so it. this is our tennis ball launcher. We're trying to put it together here. And the way it works is it fits together and then you use blanks and then you can take a tennis ball or a lacrosse ball here it just goes down in the tube and then goes streaming out. We're going to take a lacrosse ball and a tennis ball, we're going to drill a hole through them and attach 550 cord so we can launch the ball up and over some branches that are too high to get with a pole saw. And then to the string, we're going to attach this, which is a pocket chainsaw or pocket saw. We're going to try to pull on the 550 cord back and forth and cut the branches off. So it'll make more sense in, uh, in practice here, but let's put it together. After putting that first hole in, we're realizing it's way too small to actually get a piece of 550 cord without it being painful. So we're going to try a little bit bigger. Well, through doesn't work. So my idea here is get the 550 cord pinched with the zip tie and I can feed the tail end through both the holes and then just pull. And hopefully the 550 cord will stay attached. All right, we're gonna to try to repeat the whole thing with the lacrosse ball. So we're not sure if the tennis ball is gonna be heavy enough to carry the, the string or not. Hmm. There it goes. So pulling it through the lacrosse ball is going to be much more difficult, so we're taking it with two people. Oh. Well, we snapped the thing. Here's take number two with a smaller zip tie, see if it goes through a little better. All right, go. <clears throat> Get a better grip. Ah, oh, success. All right, so here's a quick demonstration of what a can cannon can do against a cardboard box. See if I can hit it while I'm doing it. <laughs> Here's our pond and you can see there's a couple of big overhanging branches we want to get rid of. One there and one up there. And those are too tall to hit with a pole saw. So now we're going to come up with a very creative way to get a pocket saw on top of that and over it and cut them down. We are underneath the first tree. We're going to take out that branch. So I'm going to get some slack here. We're going to try the tennis ball first and See what happens. So Daniel's gonna take the first shot. All right, ready? Go for it. Standing on the wood. All right, take number two. Definitely gotta aim than you think you need to because I mean I was aiming at least like a foot or two above the branch and then it just kind of I, I think the string it, just pulls it straight down Try again ready oh, so close right, last shot go 
So I feel like this one's gonna work. We got the lacrosse ball since the tennis ball just didn't have enough mass to carry the, uh, the string. So here we go. Now that we have the rope over the tree, we've got to connect the saw to it and pull it back over so that it's on top of the branch. We pulled the uh, string a little bit to find the end and it's kind of hard, but there's a little cross ball. Now we're tying the uh, pocket saw onto the end so we could use this as a leader and kind of pull it over the branch. And go. Now that both the string and the pocket salt are on top of the branch, we're just pulling it back and forth and seeing if we can cut through the thing. The rope broke off of one of the rings, so then the saw and one piece of rope was stuck up there. So we had to pull on it and pull on it until the saw broke. And we're going to try to launch the cross ball up and over there again and see if we can't get the cut restarted. So the ball isn't quite to the ground here, so Daniel's trying to get it to drop. One more time. <laughs> All right. I don't know if you can see this, but we've got the saw portion just shy of the branch. We're going to try to get it over in into the same slot we were cutting. And we're going to kind of flick it over here. Well, I think we actually got it in. Really close. So we're going to try the one, can't, one person method kind of right under the branch and see if it's easier to coordinate than kind of two people pulling back and forth. And maybe we'll be less likely to bind up. And it just has to warm me when the uh, branch starts to fall. Our contraption has broken again. This time the ring just stretched out. The saw just keeps getting bound up and we have to pull harder and harder to get it moving and then something breaks. We got one more saw left and then I'm not sure what we're gonna do. Since we've been sawing for a little bit, we do have a notch cut there. We're gonna try a different approach and put a tennis ball or sorry, a lacrosse ball over the very end of the branch and see if it's just weak enough where we could pull and snap it. So let's see if I can get it over there. I'm pulling on it with the stick. Can it, will it come lower? Or? So we've got the string mostly over the end edge here. So we're going to see if we can pull it down. It's bending. All right, we reposition. We're going to try again. Mm. All right, maybe I get to use two hands. Third technique, we've tied the string off to a different tree and we're pulling on the same side to see if we can't generate a little bit more force. So now that we've reached an impasse and nothing seems to be working, we've decided to just play with the can cannon and see if I can't skip it across the pond here. Well, that worked. Yeah.